Hasbara is a term in Hebrew which means to explain, coming from the word lehasbir, to explain. And there's a problem with this industry that is called the Hasbara industry, which is trying to explain Israel's story rather than to connect to people and have people understand on a deeper level who the Jewish people are and why Israel has a right to exist. So let me try to break it down in a different way. Let's say you have Israel as a movement and you have anti-Semitism, anti-Zionism as a counter movement. Hasbara is basically trying to explain things in order to counter the counter movement. Whereas what we should be doing is sharing our story and sharing the truth of who we are and actually building relations with others in order to lift ourselves up. An advocate is someone who supports a cause that they believe in, which is great and fine. But an activist is someone who goes even deeper who plays a role in trying to change a situation to make it better in the way that they see fit. Now, when it comes to Israel, there's this term that is often used, Israel advocacy. And I see Israel advocacy as being a supporter of Israel. So you're gonna talk about the things that you appreciate that Israel does, uh, the cherry tomatoes, the drip irrigation, the fact that it's a democracy. But today, in most intellectual spaces, the question is, why does Israel have a right to exist and who are the Jewish people? And of course, there's a ton of anti-Semitism growing rampantly across those intellectual spaces. So it's not only about being an advocate and supporting a cause, we have to be activists and being players on the ground in order to change that cause. And so to respond to the question, why does Israel have a right to exist and who are the Jewish people? We have to make clear that the Jewish people are a 4,000 year old nation from the land of Israel that were physically displaced by a Western white imperial nation called the Romans. Even during our displacement, we maintain a constant presence in our homeland. And after 2,000 years of oppression, persecution, and extermination, we created the most successful indigenous liberation movement that ever existed, where for the first time in history, a native people actually came home, liberated their land, revived their civilization, revived their language, and kicked off the oppressive force being the British. And we tell Israel in that story, you're no longer an advocate, now you're an activist. Our story is really an empowerment model for many minorities and indigenous peoples throughout the world. And it is that story that gives other people the ability to imagine and dream and believe that they could also one day achieve their self-determination.